My name's Tracy Gillinder. I'm the Head of Marketing and Fundraising. We're joined by Nikki behind the camera there. Hello. We are going to take you on a little tour. Come check it out. So, absolutely stunning entry. Really high ceilings. And um, lovely natural light in this space. This house is all on one level that you guys are love which uh, means there's no stairs which is great so uh this living area here absolutely beautiful space and we have a wood fire log fire there um we've had a few gas fires of late so it's uh good to point that out so obviously built in tv there as well and then this opens right up into your dining space and your kitchen and uh certainly a massive amount of storage in this kitchen it's got that classic but contemporary style that we know you love. On this side of um, your bench top as well, you do have storage all along this side also. So uh, there is nothing but storage. So lots of cupboard space, lots of drawer space. Um, and as per usual, every uh, everything is sort of fitted out and inserted in there. Got all your pots, pans, cutlery, crockery, glassware. Uh, so we make sure that you have absolutely everything you need to move right in. So uh, great double door fridge there, heaps of space and the freezer down the bottom. A couple of separate compartments there also. Bit of fingerprints, this nice black satin. Huge oven and cooktop, uh, which is great. And then uh, this sink here, I love these because you can kind of hide plates and, and so forth in them. They're nice and deep. Um, and you've got the zip tap as well, which means that you've got um, your hot and cold filtered water, which is really handy. So there's uh, a really big butler's pantry in there. Again, you've got another sink and all of your appliances are kept in there. Okay, so let's go from that entertainer's kitchen out to this entertainer's dream back area. It's absolutely beautiful. So you've got our drinks fridge here as well. Fully stocked with some sparkling water for you there. Lots and lots and lots of storage. Built-in barbecue. It's a beef eater barbecue. Lots of space there to entertain. And then, of course, nice big comfy table and chairs to sit and relax and have your outdoor space. Got a beautiful uh, lounge area here that you can uh, sit out and uh, look out over that absolutely beautiful pool and your garden. There's trees everywhere in sight. 1.6 acres this block. It's um, so beautiful that you can see greenery outside every window, which is just fantastic. So you've got uh, obviously sparkling pool and this really beautiful pool house for lounging or dining, whatever works for you. And then we've got um, this beautifully fully fenced garden area here, uh, where you can have animals or small children. And then you've also got um, a little romantic fire pit zone there. You can put uh, wood burning or coals in there, whatever works for you. We've got a little driveway that goes up the back of the property here to the big man shed up the back there, or woman's shed, whatever works for you. Um, so this house is kind of, you know, it's in a U shape, which is beautiful. And um, you can see as we come through to the master suite here, there is solar on the roof. So um, really nicely positioned so you kind of don't see it from the front, but it does its job. We love solar. So this is your master suite here, coming out onto the garden, which is lovely. It's so beautiful and airy. So lots and lots and lots of light. There's fixed shutters across um, all of this side of the house, which is great. Got your TV there. Again, loads of storage in here. Nice little, um, I guess, could be a study nook or makeup area if, if you like. And you've got uh, like a joining uh, ensuite and robe. So let's take you through there. And just so you know, nobody's living here. This is just all staged, so you can see exactly how you can keep your clothes. So lots of shelving, hanging area, really nice big deep drawers for clothes, which is great. And this ensuite is really something as well. So uh, I love these tiles on the floor. So you've got uh, privacy movers in here as well, so you can have the, the breeze coming through as well as the privacy if you like. 
double basins. Again, loads of storage there. Um, your toilet shower, uh, there's a rain shower head in there and then a nice big deep bath. And I'll point these out because there's a few of them in this house and I know people love them, these barn style doors. So nice little feature but also gives you the privacy to the bathroom. So this is your master suite. Um, we can then come through from this area here and we go back into the lounge area. Again, as we said, shutters on this side for uh, privacy and also the security there as well. So effectively, your master suite's on one side of the house and all the other rooms are on the other side of the house with this kind of central part being your living and entertainment zone, which is great. So just past the kitchen here, we have a little hallway that has a study. So you'll see there a um, computer, as we always like to have for you looking out into the outdoor space, which is lovely. So you could easily fit two in here as a study space. Just across the way, we have a uh, storage area here. So your mains power is uh, there also. Well, this TV room's beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't it? Great media space. and. The shutters give it that light, but also enable you to block it right off, which is lovely. And a nice big TV, we know you like that. Fits lots of people on this lounge. Okay, now this um, is like a U-shaped bathroom. So we'll go through there and show you what that looks like. And it uh, connects into the other zones of the house. So you've got a um, private uh, toilet there with a, a door on there, double basin here. And um, you've got a nice, nice bath and shower there. So this is where we kind of started from. So this is your uh, your media space there that comes around the corner here. This door here goes out to your garage. Um, so it's a nice uh, garage space there. A lot of people ask about the screens. So the screen uh, here, we we'll just take them off so that. Um, they're not in the way for photography. And then uh, storage here, so it's away from everything. So electric doors. And uh, with this property, we have two mowers, a rider mower and a hand mower. So you can do a mix of both in your 1.6 acres. So laundry space here, huge laundry. Um, again, lots and lots of storage. We've got your stacked washing machine and dryer. And huge double uh, sink. Again, storage, storage, storage. I know we talk about it all the time, um, but lots, lots, lots more storage in there as well, which is great. Got to have a place to put your stuff. So uh, this is cute. I love this bedroom. It's nice and girly. Anybody that has uh, children, teenagers or small girls, this would be a beautiful, beautiful room. All of the bedrooms have block out blinds and shears so that you can have light or block out and uh, the shears just softening up the space a little bit there. So ceiling fans in all the bedrooms, nice big walk-in, uh, sorry, nice big uh, robes as well. Ducted air conditioning. Comes to another one of the bedrooms. The bedrooms are all really generously sized, which is great. Um, Robes all along, uh, all along here. And uh, again, you've got the, your drawers and your shelves and your hanging space, which is great. So then through here, we have one more bedroom. Uh, twin beds this time. So you can certainly accommodate lots of people in this beautiful home. So again, light, 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 um, nice high ceilings and you've got those robes as well. More storage. A broom cupboard, very handy. You can find those spaces that carry nice tall things. And then this wing off the house. Again, I'll point this barn door out on the way past 
So nice big bundle, it's a feature, but it also helps to close off the media room if somebody's in there watching a movie or a few kids. And then we come back out to your main space. So we absolutely love this house. I hope you guys love it too. Um, we're really proud of this one. So imagine $1.8 million worth of first prize. You get this house, everything in it, and $50,000 worth of cashable gold. What a way to achieve financial freedom. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Put your questions in the comments, and we'll come back to you real soon with the answers. Thank you, and good luck.